We need a really important result before we can go on and talk about the derivatives of exponential functions. And it has to do with this limit. So suppose that a is some positive number, some constant. Uh, I want to find out what the value of this limit is going to be. And it's going to be different for every different a value. Um, one way to do this is to make the observation that this limit is going to be approximately equal to the difference quotient itself as long as h is chosen small enough, right? Because I'm taking the limit as h approaches 0. So, you know, let's say, for example, I choose h to be, I don't know, 0.1. a to the 0.1 minus 1 over 0.1. This is the sort of thing I'm thinking of. This is a, a you know, reasonable approximation for this limit. And an even better one would involve a smaller value of h, like 0 0.01 here and here. So that's what we're going to do. And I want to look specifically at this limit when a is 2 and when a is 3. So what we're going to do right now is compare on the TI-84 the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 to the h minus 1 over h and ln 2. The limit as h approaches 0 of 3 to the h minus ln h, uh, 3 to the h minus 1 over h, and ln 3. So notice that these numbers are the same. I want to see how these values compare. So let's take a look at that on the TI-84. OK, we're looking at the TI-84. Remember, the first thing we wanted to look at was the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 to the h minus 1 over h. So I'm going to type in 2 to the h, and I have to use alpha caret, that's h, minus 1, and then divided by h. So divided by alpha caret. OK, and that's 2 to the h minus 1 over h. Let's hit Enter. It equals 1. Now, I haven't actually specified what the h value is, so it's probably using whatever stored h value it had before I began. So let's actually see what the h value is. It's 1. All right, that's pretty good. But I actually need h to go to 0, so I need something smaller than that. Let's try storing 0 0.1. So you just type in that number, and then the store button, store, and then alpha caret, that's h. So I'm storing 0.1 as h. I hit Enter. And then, instead of typing this whole expression in all over again, I'll do second entry, second entry, second entry, and you just keep hitting second entry, and then it goes backwards through the entries that you've just, uh, you've just executed. Now hit this again, and now notice I'm getting 0.7177. This is now the new value of the difference quotient for h equals 0.1. And let's do that again. Let's make a smaller value of h. So I have to hit second entry twice to get back to that command. So let me go back, and then I'm going to insert, second insert, Throw in a 0. So now it's 0 0.01 that's being stored as h. Hit Enter. And then hit second entry, second entry. Now let's execute this uh, difference quotient again, 0.69555. Now remember, I'm trying to figure out what limit this is approaching as h gets small. So let's keep letting h get smaller and smaller until we see some kind of limiting behavior. So second entry, second entry again. I'm going to now make it. 0 0.000. So second insert, another 0. Now we have 1 1 1 thousandth. And then second entry again, second entry again. The difference quotient, execute, 0.693. Okay, then that's pretty good. 0.693, it seems like it's, it's converged to the nearest hundredth at this point. So it looks like the value is going to be about 0.693. Now we're supposed to compare this value with natural log of 2. Notice also about 0.693. So this is interesting that these are very, very similar to each other. And it turns out that they are one and the same. If you let h actually go to 0, this value will be exactly equal to ln 2. Now I also wanted to do the same thing for 3. So hit second entry, second entry again. I still have, remember, I have h equals 0 0.001. All I have to do is go over and change this to 3 to the h. All right, so just type 3, enter. Ah, so remember, h is 0 0.001. I get 1.099. Let's see what ln3 is. ln3. 
It's also, when you round it to the nearest thousands, it's also 1.099. So it turns out that this quantity is always going to equal the natural log of this number. Let's take this back to the board. All right, so what did we just learn? What we learned is that these two expressions are actually equal. The limit as h approaches 0 of 2 to the h minus 1 over h equals ln 2. The limit as h approaches 0 of 3 to the h minus 1 over h equals ln 3. And in general, the limit as h approaches 0 of a to the h minus 1 over h equals the natural log of this number, a.